You're watching F5. This is Boo. I'm at Cube Huddle 2023 in Toronto, joined by Kanal Kushwa. Uh, you're the head of developer relations at Civil Cloud? I'm the manager. Fantastic. Okay, cool. So I actually just sat in on your keynote presentation. Really cool on um, uh, growing cloud native communities. Um, how long have you been developing that talk for? That would be, I mean, my experience has been, uh, I graduated last year, but I've been involved in uh, well, the Kubernetes community since uh, the end of my freshman year. So I'd say, I'd say five years uh, since I've been involved, but I've been like out of uh, university uh, less than a year, graduated in September. But yeah, it's, it's, a, it's like no one really cares if you're a student or not, as long as you're getting the work done and, uh, and, com and contributing. Um, my talk, on the other hand, it took me, I just finished the final touches this morning, to be quite honest. Um, but yeah, I've been, it just took me like, uh, I think I was working on it on my plane, so a week on the plane, yeah. Wow, okay, but you've got a lot of experience uh, in growing the communities and, and watching the communities grow. Um, one thing that I found interesting in your talk was the idea of um, honor over blame. And so the idea that, okay, you might find some mistakes or bad code out there, but take the high road and actually fix it up and leave it better than how you found it? Yeah, the, the straightforward answer for that is there because, because there is no other answer. You, know, you can do nothing else than, other than taking a high road. Yeah. Nothing else that is going to be productive. Because if you found some bad code written by like you know, a few months ago and the person has now left the company, yeah, there's no way they're going to, like, you know, now, because everyone has... You know, they have their own time and stuff. And it's really hard to get in touch with people. So, what do you do? Or you do you want to be sad about it, or get frustrated, or stressed, or cry about it? No, you can just you have to work with what you have. And it's not just in tech. I mean, it's in life, uh, things that you have no control over, then the options that you have, like how do we move forward? Mm -hmm. Those are like pretty straightforward when you have no control over things. Yeah. So, so with bad code, yeah, what can you do? You know, just work with it and. The one thing that you can do is that so that future people don't face the same problem. Like, ma leave the code better than you found it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And uh, probably same goes for documentation. Have you been involved on documenting stuff or stuff that doesn't exist as documentation and gone through and actually fix it up? Yeah, that's what I mentioned. Like, being a beginner is one of the best uh, skills that you can have because with documentation or articles or blogs in general, if someone who is like really expert in their field they would oftentimes overlook something that might not be obvious to someone who is new to that tool. Mm. So they're like, it, it just happened naturally. Mm. Like they wouldn't do it on purpose. I know that, like because now I, when I teach or when I do some stuff, I really try very hard to focus on everything that I'm saying so that I don't miss out, so that I don't lose the crowd, you know? And with documentations and stuff, it sometimes can be like, oh, this is pretty obvious thing. Well, it's pretty obvious to you. So you have years of extensive experience. Might not be obvious to other people. And that is where being a beginner is like a really nice thing. Um, so if you're a beginner looking to contribute to open source, yeah, docs are so good for you. Yeah, and so you've been doing it for five years. You were a student uh, when you got into some of these communities. Like, what were maybe some of your earlier contributions into uh, developer communities? My first open source contribution was a really like um, it was a really complex project. It was the um, Kubernetes Java client by Red Hat Middleware, and um, it was my very first open source project that I got involved in. And it wasn't like I'm like a you know whiz kid or whatever. No, I'm, I'm I was like very basic in high school or whatever, and um, I just got involved because I was curious. I I knew Java, and I was looking for nice projects that use Java so that I could contribute. And I found this Kubernetes client, and I did not know much about Kates. So I got involved with the in the in the Gitter channel, I believe, and I asked them like, you know, how how can I uh, get involved in this? And they were like, oh, you only know Java and a bit of like Maven and stuff. So try learning about Docker, learn about Kubernetes, and then clone the project, run the tests on your local machine. Took me like two months or something, three months. I learned the basics and stuff, cloned the project, ran it on my system in the test cases. And then uh, my first contribution was just some typos and stuff. Yeah. And then documentation, then adding some code examples for the resources, test cases, I added some test coverage. And then after like good solid six months of struggling, well not struggling, but like the slow journey of getting involved in that project, six, seven months, over half a year, 
uh, I got to uh, contribute to some nice features like adding support for missing Kubernetes resources and and like big big like a lot of coding. Uh, so so it it doesn't happen overnight. And um, those, that was the first contribution. It made me realize that like it doesn't matter how old you are or whatever. If you're if you can learn on the go and you have an open mind, uh, then yeah, just take your time. It won't happen overnight, but it will happen. Uh, super cool. Um, you know, I think we'll we'll cut it there. There's lots that we could chat to uh, Canal about. I think we'll have you on the podcast at some time, uh, at some point on Dev Central Connect. So that'd be really cool. Um, so look for that. Otherwise, thanks for joining us for this content this week at Cube Huddle. It's been an amazing week. Uh, there's going to be more content to come or check out the playlist. Uh, we're in Toronto. Uh, just enjoying all the community here um, at Cube Huddle. So it's been really cool. Thank you very much, Canal, for joining me. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye for now. <laughs>